Ryan, this meeting was called in direct response to those fights, but it also gave parents an opportunity to ask direct questions of school leaders while also sharing what they feel like they would like to see in order to make the school safer. Fights in the halls of Revere High School have a dozen students facing charges now. We hear you. We understand. We're here to listen to you. School leaders, students, and their parents. Can you tell us how are you going to keep the students safe in the building and prevent like students from coming in with weapons and things like that? Together in one room Tuesday to discuss how to make these hallways a safer place. Revere Mayor Patrick Keefe Jr. says the fights are often personal, stemming from the summer. And then all of a sudden, 2,200 people are in the same building over a very quick period of time. The discussion soon focusing on whether to install metal detectors in the school. A lot of the incidents we've had don't involve weapons, so installing a metal detector isn't going to stop two students fighting because they were dating the same girl, you know? So we have to also understand where fights are coming from and what's being involved, and when it's not weapons, then all that's going to do is cost taxpayer dollars. What's one life worth? It's worth three million bucks, I can tell you that, especially if it's my kid. Officer Joseph Senior is the most senior of those officers. He's also a graduate of this school. This means a lot to me. This isn't just this isn't just a job, it's a lifestyle. It doesn't end at the end of the it doesn't end when we go home. My phone's going all night, my email's going all night. So you know it's important to me. So what do parents think? Nage Nasra is both a parent and teacher for Revere Schools. At the beginning, I wasn't really sure, but at the end, I feel like I feel like more confidence, like sending my kids to school here. What was it that made you more confident, specifically, that you heard tonight? Uh, especially when I listened to the police officers saying, you know, like how they are here for the kids and how they watch for our kids, as it's like they are they are their own kids. Now, those recommendations from the parents will be recorded, we're told, and presented at a later date. But the superintendent of the school system telling me that there does appear to be a push, at least for considering an audit of the school security measures. It's also worth pointing out that the fiscal year 2025 budget has already been set. So if any purchases were recommended and ultimately decided on, say, metal detectors, for example, it would be a while before they could be implemented. Here in Revere, Stephen Quinn, 7 News 19.